in today video we will learn uh, to check uh, one of the assumption of the linear regression model so we have to check that the residual follow a normal distribution in the linear regression model or not in order to check this assumption so first of all i need a residuals and once I get the residual, and then I can perform the normality test based on the residual data set. So in order to get the residuals, first of all, I will fit the linear regression model. So let's say here, I have the one dependent variable, and I have the independent variable. And then I will fit the linear regression, and then, I will save the output of the linear regression in LM object. And this LM object contains many things, okay? So which, which things are saved in this LM object, we can see it by using the names command here. So it's mean this LM objects contain the residuals, okay? So we have to extract these residuals from this LM objects. In order to get these residuals from the LM objects, so we have to write LM dollar sign, and then this name. And once I write these things, I can extract the residuals from the linear model. So I will save it in a new variable, this RIS. So now I have the residual in this RIS variable. So now I have the residuals here, and now I have to check the assumptions that that residual follow a normal distribution or not. So one of the way is just a graphical way. We can plot a histogram, and we can draw a density curve on it, and roughly check it either it's a bell-shaped curve around zero. So it looks like it's a bell-shaped curve around zero, and it's symmetrical around zero. So might be it's uh, we we can say that the data the residual approximately follow the normal distribution okay then uh, but this is the graphical way so we can perform a many uh, testing of hypothesis procedures in order to check that uh, the residual follow the normal distribution or not so before going to uh, go on the different uh, normality test. So I want to explain that what is the null and the alternative hypothesis in these tests. So the null hypothesis is that the residuals follow the normal distribution and the alternative hypothesis is that the residuals do not follow the uh, normal distribution. And actually we are interested in this one, H0. So if we do not reject H0, it's mean the data follow the the residual follow the normal distribution and then the assumption of the norm, uh, assumption of the uh, linear regression that the residual follow the normal distribution is fulfilled so in all these tests we get the p value and based on the p value we have to decide that either we are going to reject h not and do not reject h not so if the p-value is less than the level of significance, whatever the level of significance we will consider for our testing of hypothesis procedure. And then we have to check it either the p-value is less than this one, then the decision is that we reject H0 and we, we can conclude that the residual do not follow the normal distribution. But if the p-value is more than the level of significance, then uh, our decision would be that we do not reject H0 and then we can say that the residual follow the normal distribution. So actually we are interested in the high P value and if we are interested in the uh, H0. So let, let's say uh, we will perform a different uh, normality test and check it that the residual follow the normal distribution or not. So the first test is the Shafiro week normality test. So this test is available in the stat package that is a by default package uh, in AR. So you don't need to install this package. It's a by default part of uh, R when you install it. So the command for this test is that the shafiro.test and then here 
whatever the variable where you save it the residuals, you can give it that variable here. And then once you run this one, uh, you will get the test statistics and you will get the p value. So in order to check that residual follow the normal distribution or not, we we have to check it based on the p value. As I said it early, that if p values is more than level of significance, then we do not reject H naught. So here the p values is high, that is a close to one. And it's definitely more than 1%, 5%, and 10% level of significance. So at all these levels, we can say that um, uh, the data for the residual follow the normal distribution. Okay, then there are many other tests available. So in order to do, uh, in order to use that test, first of all, I need to install this uh, NOR test uh, library. So I already installed it. But if you don't have that one, you can use this command and install that one. Otherwise, you can go on this uh, tab package in AR Studio and then go on install. And then here you can write it nor uh, test. And then you can click this install and you can install this one. So it's up to you either you can use this graphical interface and use the tab command tab uh, package and install this uh, NOR test or either you can use this command. So I already have this package, so I just need to attach this package with, uh, with R. So now this package is attached uh, uh, with R. So whatever the commands available in this, uh, whatever the functions available in this package, I can use it uh, now. So in this package, uh, the Anderson uh, Darling test is available. That is also uh, a test that we can use it to test the normality. So the command is that ad.test, and then we have to give the variable uh, whose normality we have to check it. And here also we have the high p-value, and then it's mean we do not reject H0. And it's mean the residual follow the normal distribution. Uh, we can also check the normality of the residual by using the grammar bone mason Mason's normality test. So this is the command cmv.test. And we if we run this one, we get the p-value, and this is the test statistics. And the p we have the high p-value. So it's mean we can conclude that we cannot reject H naught, and it's mean the data fall, the residual follow the normal distribution. Uh, similarly, there is another test that is a Kolmogorov Smirno uh, test, or um, sometimes we call it uh, a Lilia first test. And the command for this test is Lilia.test, and then you have to give the variable name whose normality we have to test it because we save the res uh, residual in this variable. So we give it this one uh, to the command. So if we run this one, so we have the high p-value, it's mean according to this test, also the data follow, the residual follow the normal distribution. So it's mean the assumption uh, for the linear regression that the residual follow the normal distribution is fulfilled. Um, similarly, we can also perform the Pearson chi-square test. Uh, similarly, uh, we have to give the command here, the Pearson dot test, and then give the variable name whose normality we have to test it. And if I run this one according to the Pearson test, uh, we have the high p-value that is more than uh, for the given level of significance. So it's mean the data follow the normal distribution. It's mean the residual follow the normal distribution and the assumption is fulfilled. Similarly, one can perform also the Shafiro Francia, Francia normality test. So its command is sf.test. And if we use this one, so we can see that uh, uh, here we have the high p-value. So if we have the high p-value, it's mean uh, my, my p-value is more than level of significance. So it's mean 
we do not reject H naught and conclude that the residual follow the normal distribution. So here we have seen that uh, all these stats indicates that the data follow the residual follow the normal distribution. So in this way, we can check it. Uh, uh, the residual follow the normal distributions or not for the linear regression.